Hi guys, uh, thanks for taking the time to check this video out. Um, I've over the last <clears throat> sort of six months or so, I've come across a number of uh, AutoCAD users who are either new to Vault or even um, have, have been long-standing Vault users, and um, haven't realised that the external references palette in AutoCAD can be used to uh, as a Vault browser in the same way as Inventor users pretty much from the from the beginning are used to using inside Inventor. Um, it's not as comprehensive, but it does give you um, s some familiar control. I've got a DWG loaded up here. Um, it's currently checked into Vault. Uh, I'm just going to check it out quickly and take a look in the browser. So we can now see we get in the sa same sort of status icons and the familiar summary that you get from uh, Xrefs or attachments that are listed in here. Once you've installed the Vault um, add-in, you do get um, some extra commands that appear in your context menu here. Not quite as many as there are in the um, Inventor version, but you've got yeah, get revision, refresh file, check in and out, and change state. So when you compare this to what you see on the ribbon, most of what you're seeing is, is here in the control panel, but then also in the access panel. In the attach uh, menu here, if you select the drop down menu, we get attach from Vault, which mirrors this button up here. You can just compare that to the Inventor version. So these three are the same. We don't have data card or show details. Data cards is a unique feature to um, to Inventor. Show details is quite handy, and um, it's a shame that it's not there available in um, in AutoCAD because it would be good to see um, the way used information for a DWG over the entire vault. Otherwise, it's it's much the same. So you've got refresh file, get revision in there as well. Refresh file, get revision. So very similar. Now the Inventor browser will display all file relationships, whereas it's clear here that um, the XREF palette will only display the top level relationships. So we've got um, file attachments beneath this this particular um, DWG here. But if we open up this referenced DWG. We can cl clearly see that it does actually have some additional references, but they're all overlays. So any overlay type, reference type, included in a DWG that's referenced within a parent DWG isn't shown. But if there are attachments, it would be. So let, let's jump back, jump back into here. We can see at the moment it's locked, it's read only, so the file's not checked out. We'll check it out from here update the properties check it out and then change the xref type to attach it's still overlay so let's change it down here okay so now it's attached change it to attach you can see that the icon even changes here right so let's save that and then switch back to the as built 2 drawing refresh it's now checked out and so is this file here but we still can't see those references so let's reload it ignore and now we can see the two attachments beneath it so as long as you're attaching files as references then you get to see those relationships in here so it's, it's pretty handy so you've pretty much got everything you need but you do have to be aware that if you've got any issues with overlays um, missing in child DWG files then it can be a, it's a bit of work to find out where they are you have to open up each one of these DWGs individually uh, and then have a look at its XREF uh, palette to to either repair the references or remove them now this kind of vault integration does extend in um, paid versions of vault so workgroup and professional um, sheet the sheet set manager you get to um, see all the similar types of commands in there as well which is pretty powerful um, and, and quite handy as well so mainly I just wanted to show you here some features that are available across all flavors of Vault um, with AutoCAD so I hope that's useful to you and um, thanks for taking the time to listen and we'll see you again next time cheers bye